The interesting question here is, right, we know that Blanca has trouble against Guile. Um, DJ superficially is obviously designed off of the Guile ar archetype, but he is in no way uh, the same as Guile. Yes. Uh, Do you feel like his uh, projectile game and his ability to marshal that space would be as effective in this match? Well, here's the thing, projectile stop blankable. Uh, yep. So they stop that as a thing. Yeah, but then the, the thing does is, not go through black ball anymore. But, it? but he can drive rush and do the slides to punish the air slasher. Mm. But then what happens from that is a faint air slasher becomes a factor in there, Absolutely. and then drive rush to kick things off. Heck, they might even eliminate that scenario we we're talking about hypothetically, and they might just go and slobber knock each other. Good back throw for the punish counter. Well, there is a phone box in the back there. They might just want to have a fight inside of that and it just be entirely close quarters. No zoning at all. Both these characters deadly when they get in and the damage output potential for both of them is huge. As Sien looking to spend as much as he can to get close and the jabs close it out there. A huge first round for Sien. That was a slight delayed jab there from Sien as well. I think he was anticipating the jump back from Mena, so he tried to catch the air on frames. And there's an EX Electric Thunder, and that is going to be a wall splat for the drive impact here. Gonna get some Oki with the plushie, and then that's gonna be safe and good blocks here from Xian. It's the Lightning Beast. What's he gonna do from here? Your drive gauge is being chipped away. Gauge. Exactly, eventually cracks. That's gonna, yeah, it, oh, that's gonna be huge damage here. Can he get the Rainbow Roll? I think he can get three in this combo. No, he's gonna drop another plushie there, and that. Oh, that was huge. Damn! Okay. So so we know that now Sien doesn't have a lot of experience in dealing with these mix-ups in the corner. And how could you? How many players are there that have the level of Blanca that Mena RD has right now? My uh, God, it beats! Impact, and he had a knockdown there the from the air -tongue. Uh, air -tongue combo. Oh, that might be it, Logan. Yeah, that's it. That's game one. <laughs> Too perfect. So that's 3 five, 6 for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first the three sets can often be done in like seven minutes. And that's why. The damage potential is enormous. Two perfect rounds in the first game really shows you the damage output that we were saying about these two characters. Yes, anything you gift to me, I will return the favor in kind. And that is 1-0 here to Sian. And now, remember, Mena does have the option to swap into the loop. Like we said before, Sian doesn't really experiment with other characters, but when I had a personal chat with him in an interview, I did. Wow, <laughs> and there it is. straight away. There it is, there it is. I'll have to cut my point and come back to it later. Goes with the three piece into the light flash knuckle here. Now, this should be a little bit more forceful. Uh, he can be more liberal with drive rush. I think he has a higher damage output, but less gimmicks. So it's pure fundamentals from this point onwards here for Mena. Yeah, he's just very good at playing the base level game of Street Fighter VI. He's got fantastic forward moving normals, enormous damage, great corner carry as well, fantastic looping offense. A nice little, uh, little bit of shenanigans, like yeah. the, the flash knuckle bait there, but it's like a ghetto version of the Just Cool, isn't it? Yes, that's true. And again, what's interesting as well, we're talking about projectile stopping blankable, but guess what? If you have a decent projectile, you can actually eliminate momentarily the drive rush threat from DJ. That is plus two on Meaty if he does that from a forward throw. And he tried to perfect parry, it didn't work out. Double jack mag maximum. Oh. oh my god, that stuff, that clean. Uh, I think that looked like a Sobat coming out, so that definitely messed up his input. Fascinating. There we go, Pale Rider there. What Oki is men are going to go for? Just a stand medium punch. That's plus eight when you charge it. Here's a throw. He cut buttons there from Sian. Here's the stun, that's the question. There, and he was looking for it, and that is going to be the level two. He should be going for the side top here with the punch. Yep. Now, what's the question? Are we going to see a jump from Mena? No, he blocks at the moment. There's the jump. Yeah, as soon as he came out of burnout there, it was a huge advantage for Sin. Very difficult for Mena to stop that momentum after that enormous Ooh. damage. And we are opening up with a big combo corner carry as well. Goes out with a two-part OD rising upper. There's an air slasher. He can be a little bit more liberal with those, but yes, he does have to be cautious of oh the jump face. attack. That looks super early. Bless the top of his dome. Good throw take there from Tian. Oh, the knee shot straight over the sandblaster, and again he gets corner carried. Throw take again, drive rush in. He tried to compete with that, so he wait for the scenario afterwards there, Mena. He's trying to replenish a little bit of drive gauge, but it didn't free, it didn't recover oh until God, that again, combo was done. Jump fierce. And then that's it. Flash knuckle into the eraser. That's gonna be one apiece, Logan.
Bro, these matches are flying by, and they're going to last rounds, and they're still incredibly rapid. The damage output here causing these rounds to be over in seconds, and we are straight back into it. Jumps out after the EX Air Slasher. All right, nice anti there with the rising uppercut, and then the jump fierce from the neutral jump into the flash knuckle. How's Yang going to get out of this scenario? Well, answered my question. Oh, just too far away. He gets the punish counter on the sweep there. Back into the corner we go. EX upper again. There you go. Spreading then. that bar. Yes, that time the fate does come off. Damn, that took off like 25% there from a punish counter. Roundhouse there from DJ. Trying to do the juggling dash, not quite working out. And there's the best target combo. Oh my again. god, he didn't get the. <laughs> He let it rock, and that's what, is that like minus eight? Yeah, the last part is the minus eight, but obviously there's a huge gap prior to that. We've spoken about this on ICFC before, how uh, incredible that target combo scenario is. Flash Knuckle. There's a throw, can we get a throw loop going? No, he goes for Staggered. Crouch Medium Punch instead, and that is the best normal attack anti in the game, or one of them at least. Crouching Fierce from Luke. Funky Slicer. Nice pressure from Sen, trying to make this Significant life deficit back. <laughs> Dueling drive rushes, locks the overhead and then jumps out of the throw attempt and he's back to neutral. Looking to bait something out again, it works another time. And again, 20% for his troubles. Knee shot, catches him, counter hit. Didn't, Didn't believe the combo off, yeah. yeah. He thought he blocked, tried to bait him into doing something else there, but he gets a drive rush in and he's gonna go for the double so bad. And he's gonna try and burn himself oh out here. Oh my God, the knee shot puts him in the corner, fortuitous walk under from Mena. And there is the shimmy, the crash, and medium punch closes it out. We're going to a final round here at 1-1. Oh my god, this that is huge. was clean as hell to whip punish. And in the new chance showing that he's got neutral as well as drive rush neutral. I think he thought Mena was gonna like sweep, maybe press the throw, but I don't think he expected that jab to hit there. He's still got level three, ready and waiting. So maybe this next attack or combo that Oh, you reach I teach into the level three. Nice and early. There we go. Give him a drive gauge advantage, and it's gonna bring them almost to damage parity. And there that you go. Bolo, it's going to give him the life lead. Now, what's the question from Zian? And he, he Jack Knife Maximum's oh, out, and he recovered in time. The medium and gets the punish. This is huge. This is not the CA version. This is only the super art version here. He can drive rush in. He can try and drive rush and bait with the light. What's he going to do? Drive rush in. Straight out of the corner. Men are not afraid to hold up forwards. Ch challenges afterwards as well, Jammers. Oh, this is huge. He can't throw tech here. No, he can't. Oh, he backdashed instead. And that's going to be Vulcan Blast to take game three and give Men of the lead 2-1 in this upper bracket set. Is it worth Sien taking a little moment here because the momentum has definitely swung around. It seems like the switch to Luke is the right one for Mena. Yeah, crazy. He goes right back in. And then a knee shot straight over the sandblast to kick things off. Meaty drive impact. One of Sien's specialties here with the DJ. Goes for the empty jump. Oh, the uh, catches him flinching with the, with the fake. Goes to the back throw. Yeah. And that was a tick throw, a legitimate setup there. Brave challenge again. I think it, I, uh, what I find amazing about Mena's gameplay is he knows when to tap buttons in certain situations and he's always looking to win the scramble. And he's got a high success rate in winning scrambles in his matches at high level. Absolutely. Even when the numbers aren't in his favor, he just knows when someone's going to try and steal some frames. Go slam down again with the throw, Jen. But uh, he bit last time, but it's not working out this time. Sit tight. The parry attack. Got him. Oh my God. That's the round. That's the round. I think he needs to spin one bar, though. No, doesn't, doesn't even need it. Then he just uses the drive gauge. It's a perfect situation for Sen. Dude, that was hella risky. That was so brazen of him to do the drive impact there when he had an iota of health left, but it worked out regardless. Drive impact to the punch. A huge amount of damage, but pushes Mena back onto the screen. Now, level three is in play for both of them. Police sirens. All right, there you go. He only blocks the forward fist. Not trying to do the trickery with the target combo. That's going to be weekend pleasure. Level three, going to get a decent life lead to work with here. Now, is he going to drive rushing again? Is he going to try and bait him this time? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> he got him. <laughs> there you go. Heavy jackknife maximum. What's Meta going to do? That's not the wall splat. Slight miscalculation on the space. him out. He checks him though with the medium into the level three, and it's going to be critical art. Oh, this is going to be a very ferocious Pale Rider. But then, no drive gauge here for Sian. That could be a drive impact inbound. There it is! 
And that's going to be the round. Perfect flash knuckle. Doesn't even need it. Double back roundhouse. As yeah, soon as he blocked that fierce, it was a checkmate situation. Ooh, okay, he tried to bait something there, I think. There's the faint air slashes, but then there's the heavy one as well. And no double oh, check. The oh, high level players are doing that, man. They see the green, they press the button. Yeah, especially the, the far reaching medium buttons, not the lights yes. they're pressing as well. And it's ones with decent active frames as well. That does kind of help in the situation, yep. depending. Oh, he jumped there on defense, Mena. That time he does commit to the combo. Chases him down with a double dash on the OK there. Funky Slicer. If you're ready for that, you can drive impact. Because Jan's committing to the Funky Slicer, the low from the just call every single time. That can be DI'd. Doesn't even need it this time. Is he going to combo? But if he does the empty one, it's safe, right? Yes. But that, that, we haven't seen that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh. Magic roundabout of offensive options. Staggered. Again, he's getting <gasps> opened up after blocking the jump ins quite frequently. Mena, you said he was so apt at choosing the right times to interrupt, but in that last game, he was clearly interrupting at the wrong time. Sien shut the door, closed it tight, and Mena RD loses his first set. So that means, because we still are in the first three, that, that means, right, when you pressure Mena, you really have to focus on your lights. You should see the chains. Like, just to chain light attacks, legit. It's like jab, 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 but the third jab is more than likely to gonna hit him because everyone's pressing off the two buttons. Yeah, I can really see that. Two apiece. Oh, he tried first into an air slasher. <laughs> Damn, these guys really want the advantage here. Oh, gets the punish counter so bad. Dry rush into the throw. Blows out the OD. All right, there we go. Heavy jackknife into Life the corner. Damn. That was a crazy save There, jump. he did the empty one that time. Yeah, good call. Damn, this is not looking too good for Mena here. He's about to be putting Burnout. Unless he does level one, he's in so much trouble, Logan. Throw, that's it. Oh, such a smart time to throw that in there. Set point now here for Sien Mena. Staring down his first set defeat of the tournament. Big trade there. I'm not sure if there was anything that he could follow up with. A lot of pushback. But right Bless now, Sien getting pushed back to the corner. Great air to air. And he walked back in anticipation of that jump as well, by the way. Oh, gets the... That wasn't even a cross-up. He landed on the other side. It didn't say cross-up. But he's going to get the perfect flash knuckles into the heavy. Huge life lead here for Mena. Here's the sweep. Oh, just walks out of the throw. But if Mena pressed any button, he would have got a punish counter into the round there. But he's looking to comfortably close this one out, Logan. Uh-oh. Commentator's first from your boy. Now, he just needs a fat hit from a fierce. And that will be it. Now he just needs a medium. I don't know how he's going to do this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> the OD Sandblaster, one of the best OD moves in the game. All right, here we go. Drive rush in. He gets the juggle, but too far away. EX rising up. got to break that momentum here because this is the final round. And he goes for an early level free confirm into the Pale Rider. And he's going to get himself about a 40% lead here. And drive gauge advantage. Nice jump. Would throw. I think Sian's gonna be very scared to jump now. Oh yeah, my he's... god, he was very scared to do anything as he blocks and gets wall splatted. Not a huge combo there from oh, Mena. Throw and he might bait him. No, he's gonna throw loop him and he's gonna be close down to perfect. The no. trade and Mena keeps his perfect record. It was a valiant effort for Sian. It looked like he was gonna be able to do it. The momentum was on his side. Well played there to Mena. What a riveting and blood pumping set we have seen there again. Close, taking it down to the wire. I was worried coming into this set. The big question for me was Mena's DJ experience. But hey, he clutched out the win. That's the most important thing that matters.